Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great week so far, and welcome to this uh, new daily update on Bitcoin. Uh, we'll do a full update. Yesterday, we did have uh, quite a significant bullish breakout around the afternoon, so we'll talk about that and what that means. Um, because we did break out above this level right here around 30,700. Um, but in the end, I mean, it, it kind of depends on how you see the consolidation. Uh, because we didn't break above our major resistance right here around uh, 31,400. So we'll talk about that. As you can see, my uh, the lines I've drawn on, on, on the chart are a bit dramatic. Um, but uh, but we'll dive into why why I well I don't think something like this is possible. But well, it's it's a possibility, but I don't expect it. Um, but I do expect some bearish momentum. So we'll talk about that. Before we dive into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me and also gain access, like you can see at the very top, uh, to an exclusive chat room of traders and uh, and access to my trading guide. Check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments. And there you will find uh, instructions on how to join and just uh, get a little bit more information on what it is. But now to Bitcoin. So like I said, if we're, if we're purely looking at the market structure right now, you can see I drew a trend line on the, on the chart right here. Uh, but technically, we are actually not trending. Uh, the ADX is below 20. Usually below 20 means that we are not trending and that we are consolidating or ranging. See, on the, on, on the, on the long term, if you zoom out to the daily time frame, we still are trending, all right? So I definitely do still expect, like I said in my previous Bitcoin videos, that we can get a bullish breakout at some point of time and continue this bullish momentum. But on the short term, I think the situation is, is more alike like, like this, um, like the consolidation we had in, uh, in, in March at the beginning of April. So that's also what I think is going on right now. Now, yesterday was Monday, obviously. So as most of you know, then usually volume comes in the, into the markets from institutions, from market makers. That's also what we saw yesterday. Uh, the volume went from, I believe, around 11 billion in the morning uh, to where it's at right now, around 16 billion. So that's money that came into the markets. That was bullish because in the end, we are a little bit more bullish than bearish, obviously. Um, but it's not enough. I don't think 16 billion dollars, especially not with with additional fundamental cataclysts, which we don't have at this point of time. I mean, yesterday we heard about BlackRock uh, refiling their Bitcoin ETF, but that's not enough. I mean, we need an approval or we need some very bullish news coming from the FOMC minutes tomorrow to really push us above this resistance level at 31,400 and that we can get some sort of a move up to that 34,000, 35,000 level which still, just to be clear, is my price target. Um, but yeah, that's not something I expect on the short term. On the short term, I, I think it's more likely that, like I said, right now we don't have a fundamental cataclyst. We don't have enough volume, I would say, to break out above that. So at this point of time, we're dropping down to this level right here at 30,700. There's like a, I would say there's like a 20% chance that I'm, I'm wrong, that we will find support here. And then basically it's, it's just about breaking above 31,400. If we break above that, then I was wrong and we'll probably continue up to 32,300 and uh, 34,000 is possible. Um, but I think it's more likely that for now we will stay in this consolidation. So we'll definitely find support at 30,700, but I don't think we'll get any meaningful bullish momentum from that. And I think it's more likely that we'll actually drop back down to 30,250 and perhaps even down to this level at 29,700. And there's a possibility that we'll drop down all the way to this uh, amazing support level at 28,700, 28,800, from which, like I said yesterday, I will definitely buy Bitcoin from. But this is only like at this point in time, the only way I think we, we can get there is if we spike down due to some uh, due, to, due to some bad fundamental news. So that's not something I can predict. It's something you can be prepared for, though, with some sort of a limit order uh, if you want to. But yeah, for now, that's my full take on Bitcoin for today. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a great day and uh, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.